unboxing a Samsung Freestyle. Uh, you can get these actually for a pretty good deal in Canada. Uh, lately, uh, Best Buy, Amazon had them for $4.99, but we got this one here with our air miles. This is our second Samsung projector. We actually liked it so much that uh, we got a second one. And we liked it enough to use it as our main TV. This is a portable projector. Gotta slam this bad boy open here. What is caught here? one minute setup guide so this is the projector itself and the box in the top you have the power plug it does not come with the micro hdmi you need to hook up with external devices c usb c USB C to C. So you actually need to hook up an external device. So this is a micro HDMI. You can get one on Amazon for 10 bucks or so. This is a six foot cable I use. So uh, we've actually owned our first one for about six months now and we really like it a lot. However, there are a few things that kind of suck about the projector is if you want to use this consistently, there's sort of no clean setup. You're going to have to have a long HDMI and then the power cord sort of run along your coffee table or off to the side. Uh, if you use it off to the side, you'll notice that there's a, the projection lamp casts a huge light uh, around the actual projected image but it's not that bad. The speaker is phenomenal on this thing. It's very impressed. Let me just get this. Sort of hard to talk and open things at the same time. So as you can see, it has the lens cap there. USB-C. But yeah, my wife and I, we really like this um, projector a lot. Uh, the speaker at the back here, does feel a little bit soft. I'm not sure if this is plastic or metal, but this is very fine mesh, so you kind of got to be careful there. And then you'll have touch controls on the front inside. Power on button there, just in case. Um, with the remote, it is a white remote, so it does get a little bit dirty after a few months of use gotta be in the box here somewhere it charges USB-C the remote which is pretty cool so it doesn't take any batteries so it's kind of like the uh, Apple TV in that aspect here there's the Samsung remote and uh, so a couple other things here with the projector since we've owned one for about six months or so uh, it does get quite hot even when it's just sitting off in standby mode, it feels very warm. I would say a little uncomfortably warm. And we do leave ours plugged in just so it's ready to use. And um, the, what else was there? Oh yes, the auto, the auto correction, the auto keystone, I find uh, on our first model worked really well for the first month. When we set it up, uh, just one time it just auto keystones crookedly for whatever reason so there's always we always have to manually keystone the the projector um if you set it and forget it so for instance if i just use it off the coffee table here uh you don't have to mess around with the settings but if you want to move this all the time you will have to spend a minute or two calibrating the 
the, the image on the wall. It doesn't take a long time, but uh, it can be a bit of a, uh, a little bit of hassle. Actually, I, I, I don't mind it. It's not too bad. Uh, just for the, I'm just very impressed with this. This is one of the coolest toys I've gotten in the last few years. The, uh, I actually don't mind that it doesn't have a battery built in because the, typically the batteries built in, uh, they last maybe an hour or two hours. I like that you can just plug this into a power bank or a portable outlet and you can just charge it that way so you can get as much battery as you want. Uh, I find things, uh, uh, like PlayStation controllers, if you use them for a few years, the battery does die over time. So to me, that feature isn't a, a big deal. It is somewhat heavy, so you won't really be knocking this thing around. What I actually really like about this thing too is because with the HDMI, it is Dolby Atmos enabled. Uh, so I'm able to plug it into my uh, 7.2 system or my 5.2 system and it runs with my receiver. It uh, has the, the remote ability where you can control your receiver with the projector volume and all that. So it's very cool. Uh, yeah, this, this model right here is gonna be our main TV and I, stoked about that we got this one again on air miles it was just a deal that they were offering uh in canada it was on sale on the air miles website and yeah so a couple things is the keystone kind of sucks on this uh it's supposed to last i believe twenty thousand hours the speaker does go really loud it's a fingerprint magnet with it being white and the remote being white usb-c charge no built-in battery but uh to me, the pros outweigh the cons. Once you're watching the thing, you you just forget about all the 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 setup nonsense and and even just watching through the the speaker projector alone, it actually fills up our living room vol like the volume uh, phenomenally well. Uh, I do, of course, like the uh, the ability to hook up to the receiver is because it makes it like a, a, a like a regular home theater. I did have an older Epson projector, projection, uh, projector, sorry, and uh, I like this thing better. That thing was huge. This thing was like four times the size as this, uh, uh, this little guy here. And whenever I show this to people, they're blown away uh, at the quality of this thing. But yeah, uh, overall, after owning one for six months, I do recommend this product, especially if you can get it on sale for 500 bucks. I'm sure it goes on sale for cheaper in the States. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.